back in like 2000, I think it was like 2007 through like 2009, I used to always say that was like my tagline um, on social media or in real life. I used to always say, open your eyes and say my name. And people always used to equate it with needing attention or they didn't quite understand the statement. And it was kind of funny because I kind of chuckled to myself last night when I watched that um, speech with Lady Gaga on hashtag I'm not just. And it was really funny to me because I was like, that's kind of the point that she was getting across was kind of what, what you know, say my name, open your eyes. That was kind of what that phrase meant and what I meant by it was, was we are so unconsciously just bumping into people, not paying attention and not being active listeners and not paying attention to what's going on around us and not paying attention to the people standing in front of us that half the time we're not listening to what the person next to us is saying. Not really. We hear the words coming out of their mouth, but we're not paying attention to what it is they're actually trying to communicate because there's a difference between the two with what we're actually trying to express and the words coming out of our mouth. And sometimes they line up and sometimes they don't because not everyone knows how to articulate. So, because that takes practice. And so, um, it was interesting to me because that's what I meant by that was open your eyes. You're not paying attention. Say my name because I am actually standing in front of you. Um, I had found in my earlier days in my twenties and I'm still finding it now in my thirties um, with relationships with people, I get stereotyped a lot and people just automatically assume because I'm dramatic or because I'm artistic or because I look the way that I do or whatever reason that I fit into this box and this is how I am and who I am and how I'm supposed to behave and this is how you're supposed to treat me and these are the things that I want and this is okay and this isn't. And then they're always taken back by the fact that I don't fit into that box and I don't want those things and um, that I'm human and I want the same thing as everyone else to be validated, to be heard and to be understood and loved. Um, I know it's really shocking, isn't it? Everyone pretty much wants the same thing and most people are trying to communicate to be heard and to be validated. Um, and they're, you know, people are constantly looking for that and, and that's okay, but but most of the time we're not paying attention and I always felt like people around me looked at me and saw this idea of who I was versus who I am. And I did really create the red ant, you know, Gaga was saying that, that she created Gaga um, or curated Gaga in order to create a, a persona that was stronger than she was because she struggles with depression and anxiety. And so she created this persona that metamorphosed into that 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 brave self that she wished that she could be and in a lot of ways I identified with that because that's what the red ant was and that's what it became was this this really strong beautiful goddess this really you know when I stepped into that role and when I put on the clothes and went clubbing and did all that back in the early 2000s I really did become that persona and that 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 was like my alter ego and I really stepped into it and became an extrovert. And in reality, in real life, Rachel is very introverted and very quiet into herself until you get to know her. I'm very open one-on-one, -on -one, but in group settings, I'm very socially awkward and weird. Um, and and you, it, so it, there's kind of that going on. And so I totally identified with that, that statement. But then I, it, I really do feel like most people kind of put you in boxes and put you on shelves and kind of pre-decide where you fit in in their little realm or how they want to see you and they don't really take the time to to open their eyes and actually pay attention to the person standing in front of them and, and listening to what it is they're trying to convey because everyone's trying to be heard. So I don't know. It was It was kind of interesting.